the whole surah on the day of Juma, let us concentrate on the first ten. The surah begins like this: "Ba'adauzu billahi min al-shaytanir rajim." Alhamdulillahi alladhi anzala ala abdihi al-kitab. Praise is due to him who has sent down on his servant, Yani Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam, the kitab. Kitab means book. Book means you have to read it. So if we don't have time to read the book, we will pay a price for that. <laughs> this is easy so far. But listen to the words which come after. وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ Awaj is now being translated mischievously so as flawless meaning there is no defect in this book but that is not what the surah is saying <laughs> the surah is saying that there is nothing crooked here and by saying that there is nothing crooked here, it is pointing to crookedness elsewhere. We have sent down this book. Inna nahnu nazzalna zikr wa inna lahu lahafizun. And we are protecting this book so you cannot change it and make it crooked as you have done with the previous books. And so here is a clue. As big as a billboard to the airport. And you know the billboards to the airport are very big. That if you want to understand the Jal, if you want to recognize the battlegrounds on which he will attack you, go look to find the Iwaj that have corrupted the previous scriptures when we do that we see first of all for example that in this book Allah has prohibited riba huh? and the very last revelation to come down in the Quran is on riba and Allah declares war but when we go to the previous scriptures, what do we find? Allah speaks about the Iwaj in the previous scriptures. He says, for example, in Surah An-Nisa, riba." They were consuming riba. وَقَدْ نُهُوَانْ Even though we had prohibited it for them. So here is a direct sign now for us to go to the previous scriptures. And when we go to the Torah, or what remains of the Torah today, and this is not a disrespectful statement at all, we find that the Torah says that it is haram. I'm using language that you would understand. It is haram for an Israelite to lend money on interest to another Israelite. That's haram. Rabbi, can you tell me why? Is it because you're not supposed to rip off your own brother? <laughs> but the Torah goes on to say that it is halal, you can lend money on interest to those who are not Israelites. This is this is crookedness and you better pay attention to that crookedness because the Dajjal is going to attack you with riba when the last age comes and you will know the last age because you will see the tall buildings if you have not seen the tall buildings as yet take a taxi and head for KLCC when you see the tall buildings, you know, this is the last stage. 
And when the last stage comes, you know, you can expect the attack with riba. I wonder, has that attack come as yet? Can someone help me? Do we have money lenders now all over the world? Are the money lenders now with a new name? Beginning with a B? Huh? Yes? The money lender is on the, in the open and he's lending money interest on interest everywhere. This banking system based on riba has come from Dajjal. He is the mastermind. And when you are absorbed by it and trapped by it, you have been attacked by Dajjal and you deserve the fate because you had eyes and yet could not see. You went and you paid down on the house. The contractor is still building the house. He's not permitted to build that which has not, he's not permitted to sell that which has not been built. It's an invalid transaction. You can only sell that which has been built. But he's already sold that which has not been built. <laughs> Uh -huh. An invalid transaction, a haram transaction. And you're paying interest on the loan. And now you come to me to help you. <laughs> this is the attack of the Dajjal. And that word awaj is the pointer. And there's also the other form of riba. We have eyes and yet cannot see that the paper that we're using as money is bogus, is fraudulent, is haram. Suppose one of the companions of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam were to return today and he goes to the market to sell and you pay him with this paper. What would the companion of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam do? Eh? I'm sure he's going to ask where are the ulama? Where are the ulama? Al ulama wa rasul anbiya. That also is riba. That paper money. It's bogus, it's fraudulent, it's haram, but you would not know that until you study the subject of international monetary economics, which is not taught in the Darul Ulum. And tomorrow there's not going to be any more paper money. They don't need it anymore. As soon as some big war takes place, the US dollar will be brought down, a controlled demolition is called and when the US dollar collapses all the rest of the paper money will eventually disappear and they have something else to replace it for micro transactions but the macro transactions is already electronic money and that is an instrument of riba to rip you off and to take you into permanent poverty and destitution. So Indonesia didn't reach where Indonesia is today because the Indonesians are lazy. What nonsense is that? Or take another example. The prophets of Allah are the models of conduct. And what did they do in the Torah? Whoever did it had no shame. They took a prophet of Allah, a prophet of Allah, and it will be sinful to even repeat it, which is in the Torah, unless it be for purposes of knowledge. And they said that his daughters gave him alcohol to drink until he became what in U.S. college campuses is called stone drunk. A prophet of Allah. And then one daughter slept with him so she could become pregnant. It's called incest. And then a second daughter also slept with him so she could become pregnant. It's called incest. Mm -hmm. The Prophet, Lut alayhi salam. And so, alcohol, when you see the tall buildings, the world is going to be inundated with alcohol. 
if you want to travel you got to go to the airport and when you go to the airport and you're leaving alcohol is there to say goodbye to you and when you arrive at the next airport alcohol is there to welcome you <laughs> and you go on the airline where you have a place for salat on the airline but there's alcohol being sold on the airline huh? and he said about alcohol Nabi Muhammad is the mother of all evils the mother of all evils are we living today in that age when like riba which has become universal the proliferation of alcohol has become universal oh yes we have this is iwaj and this is surah al kahf of the quran giving you homework to do but it's not only alcohol remember the daughter sleeps with the father so this is incest so are we looking to a tomorrow when there is going to be universal incest brothers and sisters and mothers and sons and fathers and daughters or is it that that tomorrow has already arrived today and because it is something that occurs inside the home inside the bedroom it cannot be monitored so easily huh? if we look into the scriptures to find that which is iwaj or crooked the criterion which we should use to begin our research is the Quran look to the Quran and use the Quran as the yardstick 